Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well in yesterday's video we harvested this fatwood and what this is is the crotch of a branch to a tree trunk on a pine tree that's all rotted out and just left the fatwood core. And I don't know if you've ever noticed them before but you know some rotted pine trees they'll just be they'll just be uh, there could be a dozen of them all up and down the length of it. So in yesterday's video, I took a branch off the ground and took and broke these off. Let me change that. <laughs> Waiting for somebody to come along and just break them off. And this is where I completely peeled to the inside core of one of them to reveal all that fat wood. Let's go ahead and take this one and use it for a bearing block. Fat wood makes a great bearing block. You see me use fat wood all the time for bow drill. It should be deep enough. Let's give it a try. This is Southern Red Oak on Southern Red Oak with pine needles for a bird's nest. And we have an umber. Did a good job. Now it wore that tip down a good bit. But after this gets hardened up in here, it won't wear the tip down as bad. And a lot of times a tip will wear flat like that, but it's doing a good job. That was the third ember that I got out of that divot. And you always want to give your ember plenty of time to coalesce, especially a hardwood ember like that. Let's go for the flames. All right, y'all, just wanted to show you. You see me using the fatwood all the time for a bearing block, and you saw how easy it was to gather this piece of fatwood. You might want to go out in the woods to have a look around, and you can make you a good bearing block. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.